Hey guys, you have anterior pelvic tilt? Here's three exercises you can do to fix that problem. So I did a video, I'm going to leave the link for when I was explaining the different postures that you can see from the lateral view. And one of the things I spoke about in that video was the anterior pelvic tilt. Now this is definitely a postural dysfunction. The pelvis tilts back from the front and causing that overarching to the back. You also have tight hamstrings, tight hip flexors, which puts pressure on the knees, the hip area, and also the feet. So it's not something you may be aware of, but it may be the cause of why you're getting pain in those specific areas. So here's the three exercises I'm going to recommend for you to do to get some pain relief. And also correct the anterior pelvic tilt. This first uh, exercise I'm showing you here is just a stretch for the hip flexors, but there's emphasis going to be placed on posteriorly rotating the hip, so the pelvis, sorry. So what you find happening, you see where I'm tucking in, it's almost like tucking in your tailbone kind of way. That is what you want to do. When you get that done, you want to make sure and engage or activate the glutes by giving them a good squeeze and going forward. Because when you have an anterior pelvic tilt, most of the times those glutes are not able to activate because they are the position that the pelvis is in causes them to become dormant. So we're trying to activate them and get them functioning again with this stretch and also by contracting it. Right, for the second exercise, we're gonna get into a position as if we're gonna do a glute bridge. But we wanna emphasize posteriorly tilting that pelvis where you get rid of that space that usually you'll have from your lower back there. Try pushing down and when you do that, by pushing down where your navel, trying to get your navel to your spine, you're actually gonna push down and get rid of that space. When you do that, you're going to be actually posteriorly tilting the pelvis so you're gonna be performing a glute bridge but the emphasis is going to be placed on making sure every time you push up which is gonna activate the glutes again and get them stronger you are making sure to posteriorly tilt that pelvis before driving up and I'll leave the video that I did showing you how to do this type of glute bridge if you need further directions. But this is definitely a must do for your anterior pelvic tilt. So for the last exercise I recommend is what you call a wall march. But again, I think we gained the idea here. We have to work on posteriorly tilting the pelvis and also making sure that we get those abdominal muscles strong because what happens when you have that anterior tilt taking place you'll find that persons with this type of posture you'll find that their stomachs kind of protrude forward a little bit you almost like if they have a little a little um, pot belly that comes forward because their lower back where their lumbar spine is is usually really overarched and that's because of what I was talking before with the pelvic being tilted. So for this uh, wall march that we're doing here, you want to make sure and place your hands firmly against the wall and again make sure that you don't have that arch in the lower back. When you're putting your foot forward, you're only pressing with your heels, not the whole foot. All right guys, that's three really super exercises that you can do that's going to work on getting that glute muscle activated and also helping your core to hold you together from having that tilt taking place. You also want to be aware of how much that you're sitting because uh, one of the reasons that you find persons do get into that anterior pelvic tilt is because of uh, tight hip flexors happening here. When this is tight, the glutes are unable to activate. So those are the reasons why those exercises are going to be concentrating on the core and also the glutes being able to get that pelvis back into a neutral position.
So I hope this is something that you can use and also if you like it, please share. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to subscribe and remember education is life. See you guys soon. Bye.